have just returned from day three of working night shift at the unbeatable experience of the bead harvest. Tonight was muddy, muddy, muddy and started out as misty and then started raining and raining, but it wasn't too cold, so it wasn't too bad on the how cold it was. In fact, I overlayered and had to take off several layers. But when the rain started coming down, then it got slick and your feet started sliding and your boots got mud caked on the bottoms of them. And suggestion, buy work boots, not snow boots. I got snow boots and they uh, accumulate a lot of the mud and you can feel all the unevenness underneath it. I think you'd probably have less of that in work boots and probably more ankle support because I don't have the ankle support that I probably need. So I'm trying some uh, ankle support elastic um, supports. But after the rain kept coming down, then it actually got less slick and it was a little bit easier. But we were just, we were all wet. It wasn't quite bad enough that we felt like we needed to put on the rain gear. They supplied rain gear. It was there in case we needed it. But it got a little slower and a little slower where maybe like this grower stopping, that grower stopping. Oh, we're down to two growers. There, keep going. And then we had the next to the last truck. Well, actually, on the they shut down one side of our piler because the trucks were spinning their tires just trying to get over the big... Uh, the big electric wire and so then we just had our side going and the second to the last truck was spinning his wheels once he got off the concrete and we thought we might have to get the big um, tractor whatever they call it in to pull him but he managed to get out and the last truck pulled forward stayed on the concrete and then backed right back over the gate to stay on the concrete and not get out into the mud at all and they were already planning on that being their last trucks because apparently they could only get, you know, they would get caught in the fields and get muddy in there and stuck. So, so I survived a not, a less than perfect night, but it was still good. My, my legs hurt, my knees hurt, my ankles hurt, and I'm bone tired. Well, my body is tired. I'm not terribly tired. So we stopped about an hour early today. And day shift won't be working today because of the rain. Um, so I have to call tonight and see if I'll be... They have us call two hours before we go in to make sure that there's not anything, any reason why we wouldn't be working. Um, oh, you see behind me, hanging up. That's my work vest that got all muddy and all soaking wet. So since it was soaking wet already, I went ahead and washed it out by hand and hung it up to dry. And the others are other things that got wet and my son's sweatshirt that he left outside. So those things will hang up to dry and hopefully get dry pretty soon. Oh. Yeah, I'm eating and then I'm going to bed and so far, I've really liked it. The people that I've met have been fantastic, and the work isn't terribly hard. It's just standing for a long time on concrete. And the hardest part is there's about a half an hour to an hour session where you clean out the machine, and you're um, you got really sticky mud that you're scraping off with big giant scrapers or flat shovels. But everybody works together and you just do what you can do and it gets done. The rest of the time it's pretty easy. You, I'm, I've been doing the helper sample taker. So I stand by the machine. When a truck pulls up, I go up to the their window and take a little ticket and write the number two because I'm pile number two at our location. And then if there's a sample, there'll be a little card that I take. Put Take that over to the machine put the card in a in a pocket of this bag and then put the bag on a 
a sleeve thing and push a button and some beets get thrown down into it. Then I wait until the truck's done with all of his, you know, all the dumping of beets and his beds down and then I direct him over to where he gets the dirt that came in with his beets. That's the tear dirt. So they take off, the dirt gets kind of knocked off and they weigh them when they come in and then they weigh them with their dirt on the way out so they know how much is actually beets. And then they drive off and we wait for the next one. Uh, in between trucks, we try to um, shovel the mud or grime away from where we're standing at and where the trucks are coming through to keep it from getting too slick. And it's not really shoveling, it's more of just scraping it over to the side most of the time. So it's... And nobody's really pushing you to go faster, faster. It's just keep a steady pace and keep working. So I'll update you later, but day three done yes. and it was good.